Why is having a niche for your online fitness business so important? In today's video, we are going to be answering that question. But before we dive into it, I first want to start off with a story. I want you to imagine a woman between the ages of 35 to 40. Let's call her Jasmine. Now, Jasmine has been working as the office manager at her job for the past five years, and she's actually really good at it. Over the past couple of years, her job has become more demanding and more stressful. And after work, she's immediately going to her local bar, going to happy hour, ordering appetizers, and just hanging out. After that, she goes home, pours a glass of wine, opens Netflix, and pops some popcorn. And she's been doing the same routine four to five days out of the week. Now, she knew that she was developing unhealthy habits and unhealthy behaviors, but it just wasn't enough for her to switch Netflix for some dumbbells. It wasn't until one day she woke up out of bed with a screaming headache and blurred vision and she quickly realized that she just blacked out last night with two bottles of wine scattered across the room. She got up out of her bed, went to the mirror, instantly burst into tears. She could no longer recognize the person looking back at her in the mirror. She allowed herself to cry for a little bit and then she quickly realized that she could do something about it. She can get her shit together. So she thinks to herself, you know what? I'm gonna hire a coach, okay? So what's the first thing that she does? She opens up her phone, she goes to Instagram, and she types in online fitness coach. And she's immediately overwhelmed with how many fitness trainers and coaches are out there on social media. So she scrolls down a little bit and sees one girl, and she's like, oh man, this girl looks amazing. Look at her abs, look at her arm, look at her butt. Dang, I wish I could look like that. She then goes to her page, checks out her profile, and quickly sees how many followers she has. And she's like, dang, this girl must be legit. And then she reads her bio, and it states this, helping you go from other woman to Wonder Woman. She reads it and thinks to herself, oh, other woman to Wonder Woman? That sounds pretty cool, okay. So she continues to scroll on her page and then she exits out and goes back to the explore page. She continues to scroll on the explore page for a little bit longer and then comes across another video. And she's like, man, this girl looks awesome. I wish I could look like her. She opens up the video, goes to her profile page, and then she sees how many followers she has. And then she reads the bio and the bio says this. I help women transform unhealthy behaviors into high performing habits in 12 weeks or less. Instantly, she gets excited and thinks that this girl is her girl. This is the person that's going to help her transform and get into the best shape of her life because of what her bio says. She then continues to scroll down on her page and then she starts binging on all of her content because her content is all about transforming unhealthy behaviors into high performing habits. Once again, she gets really excited, clicks the link in her bio and proceeds to fill out her coaching application form. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why you need a niche for your fitness business. It's not about how many followers you have. It's not about how good you look. It's not about how shredded your abs are or how big your butt is. What it's really about is your audience being able to go to your Instagram page or your TikTok page and know that you are the coach for them within the first three to five seconds of them being on your page. That's what it's all about, for people to come to your page and know that you are their person, you are their coach that's going to help them transform instantly. And you're marketing to that demographic. And this all comes down to communicating effectively who your niche is and how you serve your niche. And in today's video, we are going to be doing a deep dive on defining your niche. 
Before we move forward, I do wanna take one step back and bring up Alexis Page one more time. I was simply just using her page as an example. She's an awesome coach and an awesome trainer and clearly she knows what she's doing with her Instagram page. Look at our followers, look at her amazing physique. So kudos to you, Alexa. I just want to use you as an example to show how important it is to have a niche, especially when you don't have as many followers as somebody like Alexa. How do you stand out? What it comes down to, like I mentioned before, is how to communicate who you're helping to, to your audience effectively. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you my five-step process for defining your niche. But before I share with you my five-step process, go ahead and smash the like button and also give me a follow. And if you're new here, my name is Coach Ruben Brooks and I'm the owner of the Fit Boss Blueprint online coaching program where we help personal trainers and online coaches scale their fitness business to six figures in six months or less. I'll leave links in the description so you can check that out. And if you stay all the way to the end, you'll learn my unique five-step process for defining your niche. And number five is actually my favorite. So let's dive in. What is a niche? A niche is a specialized segment of the market. And why do we need a niche, especially when it's related to fitness? Well, in fitness, you definitely need a niche because there's so many people out there. There's so many coaches out there. So what a niche is going to do is help you further segment yourself from the marketplace and separate yourself from the marketplace. You want separation so that you can stand out. And why is separation so important? Well, it's because you want to be the go-to person for that topic in your space. And so a couple of examples of niches would be Busy moms, working professionals, men over 40, millennials, nurses, uh, blue collar workers, men in tech, women in tech. The list goes on and on and on. But ideally, you wanna be able to call out one of these niches and become the go-to person in that niche so that your name and your brand and your image and your product become synonymous with that niche. So if you're a coach helping women in tech, you want your name, your business, and your brand to be synonymous with you helping women in tech. Take me for example, I'm making sure my brand, my image, my face, and my products are all synonymous with my niche and who I serve. I serve fitness coaches. And so when you look up fitness coaches, guess who you're gonna see? You're gonna see me, right? That means I'm crushing the game and I want the same exact thing for you. When people look up a specific keyword, like stay at home moms and men over 40, I want your business to show up as a go-to person and you should want your audience to know that you are the go-to person in that niche. So let's go ahead and dive into the five-step process for defining your ideal niche. As we dive into today's lessons, be sure to grab a pen and a piece of paper so that you can take some notes or just take notes on your phone as well. When it comes down to figuring out what niche you wanna be in, the first thing you wanna do is to reflect on your passions and interests of the fitness space. What got you started in fitness to begin with? I want you to think about that for a second. When you first got started in fitness, what actually got you started? Next, I want you to think about what can you talk about all day pertaining to health and fitness? Can you talk all day about counting calories and counting macros and tracking your food? Can you talk all day about creating fitness content? Whatever it is, start writing some ideas down of things that you can talk about all day. Next, I want you to think about this question. Have you ever helped somebody in the past with a fitness challenge that was very easy for you, but also very hard for that person that you were helping? What was that challenge? And also, how did you help that person overcome that challenge, specifically related to health and fitness? And lastly, I want you to write down what topics do you enjoy consuming online pertaining to that niche? So when you're scrolling on Instagram and TikTok, do you like consuming recipe videos? Do you like consuming workout videos? Do you like consuming hit workout videos? Do you like consuming you know, recovery videos? Whatever it is, write all of those things down because what we're doing here is formulating ideas pertaining to your niche. In step two, I want you to think about your customer's problems and also their needs. And if you don't have any customers just yet, 
Just think about the people that you've helped in the past before. Think about their problems and their needs. And think about your problems and your needs when you first got started on your personal fitness journey. Think about that for a second and then ask yourself how can your passions and your service with fitness help them overcome their challenges and be the solution to their challenges. I want you to do this exercise and ask five people around you what's been the biggest challenge so far with you being able to stay consistent with your health and fitness journey. And what you wanna do is think about how your business and how your service can be the solution to their challenges. In step three, we are going to be researching the competition. I want you to find three to five other fitness coaches on Instagram that are in the same niche that you want to be in. Then we're going to be doing some market research. I want you to get inspiration from their page. I want you to see how they're posting their videos. I want you to see how they're marketing their business. I want you to see how their aesthetic looks. Three to five different people now, okay? Because what we're gonna be doing is taking a combination of all of their information and then creating your own unique twist with it for your specific Instagram page. And we're gonna be catering all of that information to your target audience. And doing this will help you make your page better than the competition and stand out further. In step four, we're going to be defining your niche's profitability. And this is extremely important, so please pay attention to this. Defining your niche's profitability is going to determine how much money you're gonna be making in your business. And let me explain. If your niche is in strength and conditioning, and you're going to be targeting high schoolers and teaching them to be faster, bigger, and stronger so that they can better their chances of playing football on a collegiate level. The profitability of that niche is very slim. The reason why is because kids graduating from high school, they don't have money. They don't have money to buy your program. They're using their parents' money. So who are you really marketing to here? Are you marketing to them or are you marketing to their parents? So the profitability of this niche is very low. I want you to think about the story that we talked about at the beginning of this video. She was a woman between the ages of 35 to 40 and she's been working for the past five years at her job. Okay, so this person has the financial stamina to pay for your coaching program easily. Okay, we want to be targeting people that can afford your coaching program. Point blank period. You only want to target people who can afford your coaching program. So think about the customer demographics. Think about the values and interests that that person has, etc. And also think about where that person is located. And last but not least, step five of defining your ideal niche. If you get stuck, ask your audience. Your audience is going to tell you exactly what they want to learn about. So what I want you to do is go to your story on Instagram or just go on TikTok and ask your audience, would you rather learn more about this or would you rather learn more about this? They're going to decide for you and then when they choose, you go down that road. It's very easy because now your market is telling you what they want to learn about. And they're also going to give you some of their challenges that they're facing too. And I want you to view all of their challenges as content, content that you can make and provide solutions to their challenges so that they know that you are the go-to person that's going to help them get to their goals. That's what you wanna have. This is how people will be able to come to your page and within three to five seconds of being on your page, they know that you are their person because you're entering the conversation that they're having in their head at the current moment. What I mean by that is they're always thinking about the challenges of why can't I get into shape? If you're a person that's working in corporate and you're spending all day Day at your desk you're spending all day looking at your screen you have little time to go to the gym you have little time to eat quality nutritious meals what kind of content can you put out to solve those challenges for the busy professional knowing how they're going about their daily life you can provide content about quick easy workouts you can do in 15 minutes or less you can talk about quick protein snacks that that professional can keep at their desk you can talk about on your lunch break, going outside and walking laps around the building to get your steps in so you can still stay on track. 
or you know going home and having a low carb dinner or something along the lines of that to make sure that that person's not overeating on their carbs or on the calories for the day right so there's ways you can provide content and so when that person comes to your page they just know hey this person understands me they speak my language I rather go with this person versus all the thousands of millions of other people out there because they understand my lifestyle. They understand my challenges. They understand my struggles. And I connect with this person. The reason why they're going to be connecting with you is because you know what they're going through on a day to day, week to week, month to month basis. And you're solving their challenges. So use these tips when it comes to defining your niche in your business. Separate yourself from the masses and stand out. Create your own vibe, create your own aesthetic, but serve your audience. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you got any value from this video, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It really does help with the algorithm. And if you're a fitness coach that needs help with scaling your business online, click the link in the description so that you can book a free strategy call with us. On this call, we will draw up a game plan for you so you can scale your business to six figures and beyond. That's it for this video. See you next week. Peace.